good morning and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I'm going to do a little more experimentation and, uh, with the uh, Pocket Pro. Um, doing some automotive work and I wanted to see if it would pick up the secondary ignition signal using the Hantec uh, HT25 um, inductive pickup. You clamp this around a spark plug wire. Uh, you can also get an adapter to do them on a coil and plug. Um, but it uh, requires an oscilloscope to get a good reading of it, but you can see the secondary ignition. I want to see if this thing will pick it up. And uh, <coughs> uh, I had tried this once before, and I just I don't think I had the settings right, so we're going to have another shot at it and see if we can get it to read. Uh, it also just did this morning when I got up and uh, turned it on, it had me do a firmware update. It was at 1.3.0, and uh, it just did an update to 1.4.0. I don't know the changes yet that were implemented, uh, I'll have to see if I can find a, a, a change list to see what uh, what was changed on it. But uh, anyway, let's give it a shot and see what uh, see what kind of signal pattern we can get using this. You basically clamp this around the uh, spark plug wire. Uh, I'm going to start with the ignition coil wire rather than add a spark plug because you get a stronger signal. So let's start with that, see if we can get a good reading with that, and then we'll try the spark plug and see if we can get a good reading off of that. So I'm going to clamp it around my coil wire, and then you ground the other end of this. That's to uh, snub any high voltages so they don't make it back to your meter. Uh, this has got a built-in attenuator. Uh, not really required for the, the Pocket Pro because it will do up to 600 volts if you're using it on a standard oscilloscope or, uh, or a picoscope, um, which I also have as well. We can play with that in another video, but uh, plenty of videos on the picoscope. I wanted to see if the Pocket Pro will do it. And, uh, <clears throat> but uh, attenuator is not necessary because it's got such a high voltage uh, peak. But uh, let's start the car up and see if we can get a good reading off of this. The HT25 needs an inverted signal. Uh, there's no function for that in the Pocket Pro, but all you got to do is uh, switch the uh, polarity of the, uh, the BNC jack. Just move the negative to positive, positive to negative. Measure. I'm going to go to my oscilloscope. Move this down. And uh, I'm going to use a 100 millivolt per division. And a spoiler, I've already played with this a little bit, so I, I kind of got the, uh, the settings down, what I need to use. I'm going to use a 1 millis millisecond time base, and I'm going to use a 100 millivolt per division. Uh, DC voltage, and I uh, got this on voltage. The pocket I've got set to voltage, and uh, I'll show you what I'm using here. Uh, I've got the uh, BNC to banana jack adapter uh, for these, and then the little uh, uh, banana jack adapters for the probes. So that's how I've got it interfaced in with the pocket. So voltage. Uh, AC current, I'll have overlay this on the screen when we're doing the video. And uh, for the trigger, I'm going to do a continuous trigger on a rising edge. And uh, move this down, set it back to one millisecond. And now uh, let's see if it'll give us a capture. Nice. Then we get a good, a little bit jumpier than uh, some scopes. It doesn't get super stable, but we've got a really nice pattern. You can see the charge, and then the firing, and then the actual burn rate jumps around just a hair. I think it's just because the trigger's jumping a little bit. Maybe it needs some noise attenuation or something. But we got a really nice signal. See if I can stop it on a decent uh, pattern. There we go all of these on the screen, but uh, looks very nice. I'm going to go ahead and save that. Put the download button over here. Just to save. And now we can pull that pattern back up again. But uh, very nice. So that does a pretty good job, actually. You get a signal 
if I can get that on the screen. I'll overlay this, but just to be sure, in case I have a problem, get the overlay done. But let me change screens here. Got our, our charge signal, and then there's the, the initial spark, and that's the burn line. Uh, line's a little bit jumpy on the end there, but uh, it looks like a pretty typical secondary ignition signal. So the Pocket Pro will get a signal for it. Now that's right off the ignition coils, that's the strongest signal. Um, we'll try it again here while I'm videoing, and I have tried it a little bit on the at the spark plug, and it wasn't nearly this nice of a waveform. Uh, and it could be this car too that doesn't have a real strong ignition system, tiny little car. I don't know if that makes a difference, but runs good. But let's uh, let's take another look and see if I can get a good pattern using the uh, using the spark plug line at the spark plug. But uh, that's really cool. You can use the Pocket Pro for that. All right, let's move. Pick that over into a spark plug. See if I can get a signal off of that. All right, same settings. Uh, I don't know if we're going to see here. We don't have nearly as strong a spark. Yes, yeah, so it's really just not seeing it. See if I can change the voltage or time base or anything to get a better. Probably 50 millivolt per division, 10 millisecond time base. Let's see if that gives us anything. Trigger's too high. Can we lower the trigger back down? Gibberish on here. Anyway, there you have it. Pocket Pro will work for secondary ignition. Um, that was one I was most curious about, just because of the way the inductive pickup works, and that's like a either a thousand to one or a ten thousand to one ratio uh, um, attenuator on that. So I wasn't sure if that was going to be a problem for this or not, but uh, it does get a reading. Uh, I'll have to do some more tests, but uh, pretty exciting. That'll be pretty pretty fun. So I thought some of you might find that useful, that you can use that for uh, secondary ignition. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you find it useful, please like and subscribe. And uh, any comments or uh, tests you'd like me to do, please put them in the comments below. And uh, take care. Have a good day. Alright, I thought I was done, but I'm back. I, after I stopped videoing, I kept experimenting with it, and I realized that if I move the inductive probe closer to the distributor, I can actually get a good signal for each uh, spark plug. Um, so I'll try to overlay this on the screen. Not quite as, it's still not quite as strong. But I can definitely, uh, you know, it's something we can, I can work with. Yeah, you can see the whole pattern. The end of it's not quite as good. But definitely, uh, Definitely some usable waveforms there you, as you get closer to as I move closer to the distributor, the signal just kept getting stronger and stronger. So right here at the distributor, it's pretty nice. I can actually get something. <laughs>